Hey guys, it's Grace, and today I'm going to be doing a update on my project pan. So I did my first project pan in like, I think it was the end of January, maybe beginning of February, but I had, I uploaded it then, but I had already started using those products in January. So it's been a few months now, and it's the beginning of April, and I wanted to do a little update for you guys. So I have a lot of the products over here I've already marked off where I've gotten to it now and I'm just going to show you guys how far I've gone. I'm adding in a few products and we'll take it from there. First thing I'm going to talk about before I jump into the products that I'm still working on is the products that I finished. So I had a hand sanitizer, I believe it was in like cherry blossom or something like that last video and I did end up finishing that. It was about halfway full so I don't have them like physically here to show you guys but they're empty, they're gone, they've been gone for a while. And then the second thing that I finished was my face wash that I had so I did end up finishing that and that again was about half full. The next thing that I have that I've made progress on is this shampoo. I started up here in like mid-January and I've gotten all the way down to here. So I've made a good amount of progress. I will probably finish this by the end of the semester. Um, it's April 2nd today and the semester ends on May 19th, I believe. So I think I'll be able to get this done in another month and a half about. The next few things that I have are some of the body sprays. So I've only been working on two going back and forth at this point, um, but I've made decent amounts of progress on both of them. And then once I finish one of these completely, I will add in that third one that I was talking about last time. But I have the Twisted Peppermint one and before I was up here and now I am down here. So significant progress. Still got a good chunk to go. I don't know if I will finish this by the end of the semester, but getting into the summer, I'll definitely be done with it. And then the second one that I have is this Cashmere Glow, and this one was up here before, and now it is about right there. So I've made, again, good amounts of progress on this one, and I'm hoping to finish this before the semester ends, maybe. <laughs> then I have this foundation. So this was the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. And before I was about here, and now I am down there, which is pretty good progress for me, considering I haven't been wearing this every single day. I've been trying to wear it like once a week, twice a week, if I can get myself to. But I'm hoping to try and finish this pretty soon because it's starting to get warmer and I really don't like to wear foundation in the warm weather. Then I have this palette. So this is the nudes palette that I've been working on. And if you can see it, I have hit pan. So I did hit pan on this shade right here, which is the one that I really wanted to and I was very close to hitting pan on. So I have a decent amount of pan on that. Um, but I have dug into a lot of the other shades as well. There's a decent dent in this one as well as this one. And these two have really good dents, so probably next time I update you guys, these may have hit pan. So I'm still working on this. I've made progress, but I still have a long way to go with this one. Then I have a few more smaller things. So this is one of the chapsticks that I've been working on. I do have another one that I've made some progress on, but it hasn't been that big. And the tinted chapstick, I haven't made practically any progress on. I'm um, trying to use up the lip glosses before I do anything else because those are very difficult for me. But this one has made progress. It's been sitting in the pocket of my coat, so I constantly use this one. This is the Neutrogena one, and it, this one's a little difficult to figure out how much I've been using, but um, before, when I started using it, it was only down to about here. And now, if I wind it all the way down, it is down to, I would say, about here. 
right there. But if you look at it when it's all the way wound up, you can see that I barely have any left. That is all the way wound up, so I have this much left. So I'm hoping to be finishing that in the next few weeks and then maybe sticking the tinted one into my pocket and seeing if I can get through that one. Then I have one of the two lip glosses. I've been trying to focus on one and I haven't gotten that far, honestly. So before I had about this much gone and now I believe as far as I can tell, I've used it up to about there and I use this thing I try to use it at least once a day, if not twice or three times, and lip glosses for me are just so difficult to try and use, so this has been a struggle. Then I have this, so this is the other hand sanitizer that I'm going to be starting and working on, and in January it was about here, and I've only made it a teeny tiny bit, but that's because I just started using it because I was trying to get rid of the other one first, so I'm just going to keep progressing with this one and try to use this up before the end of the semester. Next, I have the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is a primer, and I also haven't made huge progress on this one, but this is one of those products that you barely need any, so even a little bit of progress. I mean, I've made a good amount of progress for this product, um, so I was about here, and now I am down to the end of the word skin so that's decent amount of progress for me i'm just going to keep continuing to use this every single day and hopefully by the end of the summer i'll have gone through this then the last thing that i have updates on is this elf makeup mist and set and you can't really see the marks but i was about here when i originally started this and now i'm all the way down here so this is almost done which is very exciting um i will definitely not be repurchasing this or anything like it because i really don't see a need for it um so yeah i'm almost done with that and then a few other things i want to talk about um the blush the dandelion blush that i had is going well it hasn't made much progress but it's it's getting there and then same with the bronzer that I brought in that I haven't even doesn't even look like I've made a dent in it but I have been trying to consistently use it at least you know every other day so I have a couple of things that I'm going to be adding in I just recently got this elf daily brush cleaner and um, it's about up here it's pretty much full but I want to put this in here so that I actually do use this because I think it's a great product um, but I do want to remember to use it and if I have it in a project pan, I feel like I'll be more fueled and motivated to use it. And then I have a lotion that I've brought in as well. So this is the French Lavender and Honey Lotion. I have a ton of body lotions that I've got from people and I just need to use them and focus on using them. So I figured I would add a lotion into my project pan. So right now I am about here on this and I actually haven't had this one for that long so I think I can definitely make consistent progress with this and possibly finish this before the semester ends um, and if I do I will just add in another lotion. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. If you haven't already you can check out my previous video on that side of the screen and my previous vlog on that side of the screen. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.